smell the back. It smells like a hotel. So we have our beer. And it looks like it's filled. Wow, it's in there. Welcome to Lasers and Beer Episode 6. I'm Donnie with PG Hatco. Today we're going to talk about Dr. Juice, but first we're going to do a project with our kids. We're going to make some laser engraved color filled tile coasters and we're going to show you how easy that is on our Glowforge. Now before we begin, let's meet my sister. This is Evelyn. Evelyn, say hi. Hi. What are we going to make today? Coasters. What are we going to make them on? The glow folds. All right. What animal did you pick out, Ethan? Animal? I didn't pick out an animal. Oh, so what did you pick out? I picked out a guitar with me. I, I picked out an electric guitar with um, music notes all around it. What do you want to make, Evelyn? A tiger. Nice. All right, let's get our stuff and show them how to do it, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, show them what we're going to put it on. We're going to put them on coasters. Yeah. What are they made of? Glass. Yeah. These are tile. Tile. And you can get them from Lowe's. Lowe's. For like 25 cents. 25 cents? Maybe less. Maybe less. So go to Lowe's if go you want to do Lowe's. a tile project. If you want to do tile projects, oh, if they have them, go to Home Depot or Target. I don't know if Target will have them. But Home Depot might. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get going. Get our Glowforge Pros turned on, number one, number two. And since we have two coasters today, we're going to knock it out in half the time. And Evelyn's going to use one, and Ethan's going to use the other. Because I'm going to use the other. All right, you ready to put yours in? Yes. All right, I'm going to open the lid for you. Stick it right in there on the crumb tray. Ready. So we've found on the Crayola website, Crayola.com, they have free coloring pages and it's called adult coloring pages. It's got a lot of neat stuff, a lot of intricate lines, and it's going to be a really good project to make these coasters look really awesome. Let me show you the ones that the kids picked out. On the left, Evelyn picked out this lion, tiger, sorry, she just corrected me, but you can see all the nice lines that we're going to engrave and then color fill. And Ethan is a guitar player. He's in his third year of guitar lessons, so we found this guitar artwork that he is going to do with the music notes. And we're going to skip all the kind of Adobe Illustrator settings and stuff like that just to make this a quick little fun tutorial for this episode. Just like always, we're going to go in the Glowforge app, the cloud-based software, and we're going to upload our files, which we have already saved. And they're called simply Coaster Art. So let's bring these in. And we'll get them set up on top of the coaster using the 3D camera that you saw on the underside of the Glowforge lid. So we've got both of the artwork files pulled in. We have these <clears throat> saved as SVG files, but you can use PDFs if you would like, or you can import a JPEG. So all we want to do, you can see... This is Deem machine number one. So this was the machine on the right. So this is Ethan's machine and he had the guitar artwork and all we're gonna do, drag it right there on top. But before we do anything else, we need to select our material. There is not a tile option inside. Everything else that we have done, we've selected the stock materials that Glowforge has in the software. So we just want to select something and I'm just going to do thick red acrylic because we're going to make some settings and it's not going to really matter what the material is because we're going to we're going to change what's in here. 
since we have done this before, we have set up our tile etching setting in here and have it saved. So that's the cool part about the Glowforge software. You don't have to do it each time. You can save your settings. So we're just going to go to the tile etching. And I've even got the height as 0.275. And I'm going to show what we had come up with inside of here. Inside of our tile etching settings, you can see we're using a speed of 1000. We're doing full power. And for lines per inch, we've got it set at 270. 270 is gonna be a good option for tile. That way you can get a nice fine engraving. You can a lot of times bump it up to 450 if you wanna get a little more um, smooth engravings. Obviously when you bump up the lines per inch or the LPI, you're gonna get a lot longer engrave times. So we're just gonna stick with the 270 since that's what we had in there. 1000, full power. And I'm gonna show you how you can change your height also. Notice down here under the focus height, you've got auto and you've got manual. We've always used the auto. I'm gonna just click the toggle and we're gonna change this to 0.275. You see it took the setting right there. We're gonna click back. And we're gonna get ready to send this to the Glowforge. All right, let's slide Evelyn's tiger out of the working area. And we're gonna look at Ethan's guitar artwork, make sure that it's centered on top of the coaster and exactly where we want it. We've got the engrave settings ready to go. I'm gonna click ready print on his. And since we have two glow forges, we get the question periodically, do you need two different do you need to run two different softwares at the same time? How does it work when you have two different Glowforge machines? You just set up a second machine under your same username. Anybody wants to email us, here's our company email, patriotgraphics at gmail.com. That's what you're logged in as. So you can see Ethan's is preparing and Evelyn's, which is on the number two machine, is ready. So we're gonna click hers and you'll see you'll see where how our coaster kind of shifted up and that's because we toggled machines. So there was Ethan's and there was Evelyn's. And I just noticed we missed some little pieces on Evelyn's over here. So we're just gonna control Z and bring her artwork back over there. I'm gonna select it and just to make sure that we don't do that again, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna group those items together. So Ethan's guitar is gonna take 15 minutes and 52 seconds. So I'm gonna slide his out of the way since that one is ready. And we're gonna slide Evelyn's tiger over here. We don't have to change the settings because this was the settings for the same file. Even though we toggled between machines, we're just gonna leave them both as the exact same. And we're gonna click ready on Evelyn's. And hers, I'm gonna guess hers is gonna take a little bit more time because it's got a little more details. So let's see what the time is on hers. So hers actually is gonna be a little bit less. Hers takes 14 minutes and 26 seconds. So let's go over here and get the buttons pushed. All right, so here's Evelyn's. Hers is ready. Ethan's is ready. But before we turn them on, what do we always need to do? Turn on the filter. What do we gotta do? Turn on the filter. Will you turn it on, Evelyn? Mm -hmm. All right, girls first. So you push yours. 
Ethan, push yours. How's it looking? Is it doing anything? No. It's kind of hard to see on the tile, huh? Mm -hmm. Are they going to make the same thing? I see a little. You do. Alright, let's zoom in on yours, Abby, and see how it's looking. Making the I can see the It's hard to see on the video, but you can see barely some little line work going. Mine looks just like I have one for some reason. Love it. Like it. Alright, you can kind of see there's a little bit of a light glare where see Ethan. So we're going to color fill these when they're done and make all these designs pop. Let's speed this video up to go fast. All right, it's Tuesday night, so while I talk about this, the kids are inside doing their homework like good little boys and girls. And Dr. Juice is our beer of the week. It is from Parish Brewing Company. It's out of New Orleans. Um, there's another one that we've had. This is the first time we've bought this one in a can. Um, the Ghost in the Machine, I believe is what it's called, but this is in a lot of our local restaurants here in Pensacola, Florida. Um, it's an IPA, of course. It is a very, very, very hazy IPA. Almost looks like orange juice. But drinking it out of our Ladder 12. A Scambia Fire Rescue glass tonight that one of our good friends who is a firefighter gave us. So this IPA, like I said, it's out of Louisiana. It is very, very very hoppy, um, very hazy, and it is a 6% alcohol IPA. It's out of Broussard, Louisiana. Um, good stuff. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever seen it in the store. Got it at um, a local liquor store just up the road on the corner. They always have a weird selection of um, different beers and stuff. So, so we're having tonight. I suggest that one highly. If you like a very hazy IPA, go find it. Uh, if you can't find it in a store, maybe one of your local restaurants or watering holes might have that one. But I hear the kids coming back. Shh, they're done with their homework. All right, are y'all done? Yeah. Yes, it's just hard to see. Is it hard to see? Well, let's open it up and see. What? Can I pick it up? Yep. It's hot. Really? I'm just kidding. You can grab it. Whoa, Mike. Mine's hard to see, but it's cool. If you put the light on it just right, you can really see the designs in there. So let's bring them over to our workstation. Let's look at yours, Ethan. Can we see yours? No. Now yeah. I can. There we go, right there. Oh, yeah. Dude. All right. Well, I can see mine. Okay, Ethan, what color 
Sharpie do you want to use on yours? Does it, can I use more than one? Just use one color for this. Just for the guitar? Just one color. Just pick one just to make it easy. Green and blue. Okay, so you are using two on yours? Yeah. Okay, what color for yours, Evie? Mm. Purple. That'll be pretty. So, for this project, we like to use these nice fat Sharpies like this. That way, you're not using a little skinny tip and spending a lot of time coloring these things in. So, Ethan, if you want, you can start coloring yours however you want it. And Evelyn, you can start coloring yours, and all you do is just rub all over the engraved area. You don't have to trace it, can just I scribble. Just scribble? Yep. Just like that. Oh, it's dark. All right. What is scribble on yours too, buddy, if you want. I might. Um, I make. I'm making cool designs for my guitar. Okay. And Evelyn asked a good question. She asked if you had to stay in the lines. You don't. You can just scribble wherever you want to, all over it, because we're gonna wipe off all that excess. Fun part is just being creative. It smells good. Does it smell good? Yeah, it smells like soapy. Don't ever sniff Sharpies. Alright, you guys ready to see how yours turns out? Yeah! Alright, Evelyn did hers purple. Ethan decided to be a rebel and did all sorts of colors on his. So, green, blue, white, green. And we'll see how that one turns light out. Blue and some sort of turquoise green, blue. Here is my rubbing alcohol. We've just got some paper towels down here. I'm going to spray them for the kids. All right, pick those up and just wipe the top of your coasters. What is it? It's going to turn out really good. Keep wiping. Is mine done? Not yet. Daddy will help you guys. If you need some help. I need help. I put too much on now. Dad, is this enough? Now it doesn't look how I did it. Well, let's check it out. Oh, it looks actually pretty on now, Dad. Yeah, I probably used too much purple. Mm -hmm. Mine probably needs more purple. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, look at mine. You want to get those away? I'll do a final wipe while you're doing that. Can I do this? Here's Evelyn's tiger. You can see how you wiped away all the excess off the ceramic tile and the Sharpie just absorbed into the engraved part. Evelyn, there's yours. Let's check out and he holds mine. Let's check out Ethan's multicolor guitar music notes. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but it looks pretty cool. So if you want to experiment with multiple colors, that's how Ethan's turned out. All right, Evie, how do you think yours did? Good. Would you recommend it to another kid for a fun project? Yes. What about you, Ethan? Yes. Do you think it'd be fun for Mother's Day, maybe? Maybe Father's Day? You already know, so maybe. Alright, let's see yours up close again. 
Ooh, and it almost matches your shirt, your tie-dye shirt. It's like a tie-dye, Sharpie-filled, laser-engraved coaster. So we use Sharpies because Sharpies are permanent, right? Why? Let's Why? see your fingers. How do your fingers look? Okay. So you can good luck making your own and remember, use Sharpies. Sharpies. That's right. And normal white tiled coastals and make a creative one like this or this. That's right. All right, since Ethan went crazy and used multicolor, I did a quick run on my own coaster for our brand and made my own and did it three colors. So he inspired me to do something different that I had no intentions of doing tonight. So if you want to do something fun with your kids, you can do projects like this on your Glowforge. We've done some very um, kind of classic coasters. Here's an example of one that's a little more decorative and we used a silver fill on this one and we did this last year actually so we've been doing these for a while and you can get really fancy and do some stuff like that or like I said just do some fun stuff with your kids. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up so it'd be a perfect opportunity if you're a Glowforge owner to try something like this. If you're not a Glowforge owner and you're here because you're looking at all the projects you can use on a Glowforge, this is something that is really fun to do with your family and you can sell these and make money making something fun like this. So, simple, cheap ceramic tile from Lowe's or Home Depot. They do have little barcodes and numbers on the side but you can take some sandpaper, maybe some acetone or something to get those off. We've done um, paint on the side on our nicer ones before and clean that up. You can buy these by the box. We have a whole box of these. And like I said, it's a super cheap, inexpensive, fun way to spend some time with your kids and to make a nice gift for somebody. If you like this video, Comment down below if you've done ceramic tile before on your Glowforge. Comment down below, but subscribe to our YouTube channel. Shop our leather patch hats and some other products on our website, pghatco.com. If you're not a Glowforge owner and you want to save $500 off your Glowforge Pro purchase, we've got our discount link down below. But give us a thumbs up and join us next time for Episode 7 of Lasers and Beer. See you next time.